Yo, what, what the hell is this? Yo, what is up everyone? And welcome to another EXTCG box opening. Now, this is gonna blow your mind. There is an Ash Greninja EX box out that's in the X and Y set. Take a look at this thing. You get an Ash Greninja promo, four X and Y series booster packs. So that's Breakthrough. You've got Breakpoint as well as Ancient Origins over there. And then in the back, you've got a jumbo card. They call them oversized cards and you know, a lot of EX boxes may seem to have it, but in reality, because this is a Deancey box over here, in reality, there aren't many jumbo oversized cards out there. I swear there's like 20 in total in all of existence. So to have an Ash Greninja jumbo card is freaking blowing my mind. I want to open this so bad. So let's get into it. These are just difficult to open. I don't know what kind of like glue they use, but they do something that's crazy. So let's take a look at what you get inside. This is the best. I freaking love these, man. These just absolutely blow my mind at how beautiful they are so oh my god this is amazing so to start off you get an amazing glossy promo ash greninja it has one of the best artworks i've ever seen ash greninja just there in the front while the glossy shine is in the background it's also part of the x and y set and the best part is there's a jumbo one behind you and four packs the jumbo one is pretty much the exact same has the exact same holographic effect but since it's jumbo it's much more amplified and it looks so good. Same number in the background, same promo, but Jumbo. You gotta collect these. These are the ones you frame. I don't think you can build a deck out of them, but then you get your four packs. So I've got two breakpoint, one breakthrough, and an ancient origin. So I'm gonna save the ancient origins for last because that's actually where you can get a Tyranitar. You can barely get Tyranitars nowadays. Oh yeah. Have a code. This is what I like about Pokemon. As far as they go with the Pokemon, like Ash Greninja, a fusion. It's a cool concept that they've never gone to before. But as far as they go, they always produce some of the best TCG cards like this. Like, for as many coming years as possible, I will always get these EX boxes. Look at this. So, let's put that over there and start off. So, first, we've got a breakthrough pack. It's got Zoric in the front. And as all break packs, you can get... It's possible to pull a reverse and then a star card... But in place of the reverse, you can get a break. And in place of the star card, you can get a hollow. So you can get one of the best packs out there when it comes to break packs. So there's your code. Take that code. One, two, three, one, two. That's how you do it. And let's go. So first off, Ghastly. There's actually weird lighting effects. Maybe I should switch arms like this. Ghastly. Look at that. It's totally in some haunted mansion. That's an office. Who the hell's office are you taunting? Me out. Freaking walking through the desert. I remember this artwork it's got exhausted tackle this is like team rockets meowth pansier this is like the first gym in some like digital training area what the hell dude and that's dora and ralts nice going dora freaking swine of the pork i remember this art pork is the best i have no idea where he is he's like that's a freaking heart pillow you've got a franklin arm mud slap and powder snow pretty f i like this artwork just because it's swine up Wobbuffet using some barrier attack. That's exactly how Wobbuffet is. It's a defensive monster that uses its HP. Cacturn. You can even see a little village in the background. Haunter haunting the outside of the office. Hippopotas is our reverse. Looks great. And what are you doing? Not a chatot. Why are you a star? Listen, all warm up packs are like this. We'll get a better pack right here. This is a Greninja break. Jeez, a Greninja break is amazing to get in an Ash Greninja EX box. This is what we gotta go for, alright? So take your damn code, as upside down as it is. Get that code, it's for a breakpoint booster. Put it down, one, two, three, one, two, and let's see what we get. Hopefully, we get a break or a good hollow. So, starting off, Shelder out in the open while there's a freaking ship on the land. Shrubbish, in the most shrubbish comic. Oh, it's like a comic. Ducklet, what the hell are you doing here? Honedge, that's cool. Someone has to pull the sword out of the ground. Glamiao, this is some really spooky night artwork. I guess like an Espeon feel, an Umbreon feel. Bursting Balloon, don't know how that balloon didn't pop. Durant, Mountain Munch and Scrape Down. Dewblade, again, we've got like half the evolution chain. Our reverse is Petlil, and it's Lilligent. What? Boo hoo? That's my reaction. This is nothing like the chat out. This is some nice artwork for Lillian. I would love 
for the background to be hollow, but hey, we just gotta pull it. So those are the two breakthroughs, but there's still a break point left, which is actually newer than the breakthroughs, and it's got a break luxury in the front. There's also more breaks you can get in uh, decks and such. You can get different breaks that you can't really pull. There are more promo breaks, but we can pull some pretty good breaks in this. So there's your code, one, two, three, one, two. Let's see what we get. So Gibble, look at that. He's totally practicing Draco Meteor. Star you just deep underground. All you can do is smack. Scorapy with pin missile. That's nice. It's just out in the desert. Parallel in the fields. This is like Shaman Field from Sinnoh. That was the coolest event ever. Just get Shaman and it creates land for you. Pancham, what are you believe? You're just having some fun. Cloister, that is, whoa. This looks like something you would pull at the end as a star card. I would love to get this as a hollow. Frogadier with its shadow clones. Look at that, that's totally shadow clones. Water duplicates and it's a ninja Pokemon. Reverse Valley, it's not a reverse, but Reverse Valley. I think this card acts differently depending on which side you choose to play. Our, whoa, our reverse is a Pangoro with the white beard effect, Buster Swing and Parting Shot. It's breaking the glass. Like, I don't know how that works. Well, welcome back, Pangoro. Listen, listen, we have one more pack for a reason and we've been saving our Tyranitar for the end because you know we're getting one. There may be a Groudon on the cover, but they got pretty rude with us. They don't put Tyranitar on the cover. How do I pull? I've pulled some nice Hoopas from this, like a good amount of Hoopas from Ancient Origins. But where the hell was the code? Oh, it's like this. Take your code. But I've never gotten a Tyranitar, dude. I just don't understand. None of them. Not an EX, not a common, nothing. I think the best I got was like a Tyranitar Spirit Link, but come on. That's freaking pity. So, we got Combi. Looks pretty hilarious to just have Combi like this. They work in groups, but then they're both male. What are you gonna do? Malamar? You can literally stand on water, dude. Entangling, controlling, trash tentacle. What is a trash tentacle? Larvesta. This totally looks like some mystery dungeon artwork. Colette. Oh, that is for sure in front of Sutopolis City. In front of the Cave of Origin. Those are the doors to the Cave of Origin. And those are like... Groudon symbols. Those are Groudon symbols, but I think in like Sapphire it would be Kyogre symbols. Kind of weird. Magikarp, of course. I knew it would have X Epic Splash without even looking at it. It's in some fisherman's house. Vespa Queen with intelligence gathering. Hex Maniac. This is the creepiest artwork ever. Matang, nice. This is totally some Steven Matang. Larvesta. Okay, this is where everything comes together. Oh, what? This doesn't matter to me. Regice is an amazing and glorious Pokemon. They do so much work into these TCG cards that you don't really notice. Like with Larvesta's background and all that. Regice is in its cave. In its sealed cave. Sealed inside of its room. And it's there and it's been there for so long that the floor is all icy. That's the work that gets put into this. Even its moves. It all goes in conjunction with its like Pokedex entry. And that's why I love these boxes so much. They give you such a cool experience. And you know what man? I love this giant card. That's all that matters at the end of the day. It's glorious and it's holographic. I would never have thought that if there was ever going to be a jumbo card like this, a jumbo version of this card, that it would be hollow freaking graphic. So that is all the time for this. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you open your own, let me know what you got. There's cool varieties you can get in different boxes. I got three break packs and then one ancient origins pack you could do it differently if i got more ancient origins i probably could have gotten tyranitar so i'm definitely gonna go back to your local shop get another one of these and get that tyranitar be sure to subscribe if you're enjoying tcg there's so much more to come there's all the mythical boxes there's the generations ex boxes as well as future booster boxes whether in japanese or in english if it's japanese it comes like three months early so definitely subscribe and as always i'll see you all in the next video peace